the vitamin D and omega-3 trial, VITAL, is a large-scale randomized clinical trial that was conducted nationwide in the United States. It has about 26,000 men and women. It's a racially and ethnically diverse study population. And the goal was to look at the role of vitamin D and omega-3 supplements in the prevention of cardiovascular events and cancer. We were able to look at the individual effects of 2,000 IUs of vitamin D3, as well as the individual effects of about one gram a day of the marine omega-3s, EPA plus DHA, in preventing the major cardiovascular events, which is a composite of heart attack, stroke, cardiovascular mortality, as well as um, cancer as a co-primary endpoint. Overall, what we found, starting with the omega-3s, was that there was only a small, non-significant reduction in the primary endpoint of major cardiovascular events. However, in our, our pre-specified uh, secondary endpoint of heart attack, there was a 28% reduction with the omega-3s, but no reduction in stroke or cardiovascular mortality, which is why the primary composite was um, not significantly reduced. Those who appeared to benefit the most from omega-3 supplements were those who had low dietary fish consumption. We were fortunate to have information about uh, the participants' diets, and those who had intake below the average in the cohort had a significant reduction in the primary endpoint. Um, of total cardiovascular, major cardiovascular events. They had a 19% reduction, whereas those who already had um, high fish consumption didn't appear to benefit, and there was a significant interaction. We also uh, found for um, heart attack that there was about a 40% reduction in heart attack in those with low fish intake. And also African Americans appeared to benefit um, particularly in terms of heart attack risk. And they had a 77% reduction in heart attack risk with the um, omega-3s. We think that the uh, subgroup findings need to be interpreted cautiously because they're not adjusted for multiple comparisons. However, our uh, pre-specified secondary endpoint of heart attack in the overall cohort uh, did hold up after adjustment for multiple comparisons and continued to be uh, statistically significant. We didn't see a reduction in cancer with the omega-3s or in all-cause mortality. For vitamin D, we tested 2,000 IUs a day and we saw no significant reduction in cardiovascular events or any of the secondary cardiovascular endpoints. We also didn't see a reduction in vascular events when we looked at those who started out with lower blood levels of vitamin D compared to those with higher blood levels. So it appeared that overall there was no significant reduction in cardiovascular events um, with the vitamin D. However, for cancer, we saw a signal that there may be a reduction in cancer mortality. It has been found in some previous studies that vitamin D may affect the biology of the tumors, may make them less invasive, less likely to metastasize, and it appeared that, especially after accounting for latency, there was a signal for a reduction in cancer death. But again, this needs to be interpreted cautiously because it's not adjusted for multiple comparisons. There was a a signal that over time the risk of cancer might be decreasing, but it was not a significant reduction in cancer with the vitamin D. And again, we think these findings need to be interpreted cautiously. So overall, we saw with the omega-3s, no significant reduction in the primary endpoint of major cardiovascular events, but a 28% reduction in the pre-specified secondary endpoint of myocardial infarction, and this reduction was particularly strong in those who had low fish intake and also among African Americans. No reduction in cancer there uh, with the omega-3s. And with vitamin D, the signal was for a possible reduction in cancer death, but no reduction in cardiovascular events or in the incidence of cancer. In terms of clinical implications, we think many of these findings need to be corroborated because VITAL is the first large-scale randomized clinical trial of the omega-3s um, in the pr a usual risk population, prevention of cardiovascular disease. 
We think that it will be important for medical and public health authorities to look at the findings and just decide if any changes should be made in the guidelines. In the meantime, for those who are already taking these supplements, either fish oil or, or uh, vitamin D, we think the vital trial does not show clear reasons for stopping. However, we uh, advise against megadosing on either of these supplements, which could be associated with risks. And um, for those who appear to benefit in particular in terms of heart attack risk with the omega-3s, the reduction in heart attack, those who have low fish consumption, and also the African Americans, we think it would be reasonable to uh, talk with your healthcare provider about whether you might be a candidate for these supplements. However, we do encourage getting um, you know, the omega-3s from diet and having uh, two or more servings of fish per week. Thank you very much.